Hello everyone, welcome. My name is MJ Pestridge. Welcome to another flight simulation video. Today we're talking all about problems with downloading and installing Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because I've just covered how to install properly Microsoft Flight Simulator. Three videos shows you how to easily install it. If you're a first time buyer, first time user, it's going to be like that. Now, if you've already downloaded it, installed it once to your hard drive, and maybe then deleted it, or for whatever reason, it's gone off your system, um, then you'll need to re-download it. But you may come across some problems, and that's what this video is all about. If you are a returning customer to the Microsoft Flight Simulator, and you have had it already on a drive and you've uninstalled it or it's uninstalled itself because that can happen as well or you know you've tried to update it and it's corrupted for some reason and you've had to uninstall it yourself for whatever reason if you've had it on your drive and you've had to remove it you're going to come across issues trying to re-download it there are a whole bunch of problems that are going to occur um, so this video is all about getting it done correctly without issues okay and i've seen so many people struggle with this and there's so many different issues that pop up as well and i think it's all because if you've had it on your drive before you maybe haven't fully gotten rid of it last time so let's let's sort of sort that out first let's make sure you've completely removed it from your system so come into the windows settings back end go into apps and scroll down to Microsoft Flight Sim. If you don't see it here, then that's good. You most likely have removed it all. But if you do, uninstall it from here and then go to the folder where you've actually got it in and delete the files that are in there that you can delete. There are some that you might not be able to delete, but delete every file that you can find pertaining to the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Don't allow any fold, any files to be left behind. Completely remove them all. Then run a cleaner, such as CCleaner, and completely clean your registry as well, ma making sure that there's no traces left behind. Now, even when you do this and you, you get rid of all your traces, you restart your PC, there will still be some elements of this simulator that are linked to your PC through your Microsoft account through the Xbox app account as well. So if I run the Xbox app, I'll show you what I mean. So there are some settings that might still be sort of linked or set to um, your SIM, even if you've removed it completely off your local drive there's cloud services that are still going, okay? Now, let's say for instance, you can't open your Xbox app. For some reason, it's just not opening. You know, this thing can glitch out. This is an early development still, you know, program. It only just came out of beta a few months back of making this video, so um, it's still a bit glitchy. First things first, if you can't open your Xbox app, go into the Microsoft Store. So we go to Windows Store and actually there's three little dots now this is going to load slow because i'm actually doing a fix that i'll tell you about later to download successfully or re-download successfully the microsoft flight sim so um there we go so first off make sure you're actually signed in with your correct account okay make sure you're signed in correctly then go to these three dots and click on downloads and updates and make sure that all of these here are up to date. If there's any pending updates, update them, okay? Especially the Xbox app. Now, if for some reason you've done this and you've checked all updates and there's no updates and it still won't open, then go back into your Windows settings for the Xbox app, which is under apps, scroll all the way down to the bottom and uninstall the Xbox app completely and then reinstall it through the Microsoft Store, and then you should be able to at least open it up. And that's your first hurdle, okay? That's the first of many. Now, even if you get this Xbox app open, it's no guarantee it's going to run properly. You're gonna get probably pop-up errors like this. Your Microsoft Store account is different from your Xbox account. First off, 
back in the Windows settings, make sure you are logged. Go to accounts and make sure you're logged in to your Microsoft account. Okay, it should say, or it shouldn't say here, log into your local account. It should say here, manage your Microsoft account. You want to make sure you're definitely signed in to your local account on here. So make sure down here it doesn't say logging you in to a local account because that means you're in your Microsoft account and you need to be in your local account on your PC in order for you to be in your um, proper Microsoft account for the sim. It's confusing, but it's Microsoft. Now, other than having your local account, your Microsoft account, you're also going to have an Xbox account as well. That also could be a different email address. So these, all these funny factors are just now factoring in as to how painful it is to actually get this downloaded. A lot of people are having trouble. A lot of people aren't able to sort this out. So anyway, it says here, my Microsoft Store account is different from my Xbox account. And that's true. I have got two different email addresses pertaining to it. So I always have to make sure I click and set this as my store account. And then it should allow me to load the game. All right. And if I click that, you know, well, I'm already running it, but it will then load. If this doesn't load your game, right, after you've either tried to, you've had it installed and you're trying to run it, or you're just trying to install it for the first time but it just won't work again make sure that this xbox app is fully up to date make sure your windows store is fully up to date and go into updates and make sure you haven't got any pending updates in windows updates okay make sure you're fully up to date there um, if you still can't get this running sign out and sign back in. I'm not going to do it because it will actually affect the download, but sign out and sign back in and make sure you're in your correct account as well because it won't actually display your Microsoft Flight Sim if you're in your wrong account, but you still can run it from the desktop and it still will load, but it just will never get you in because you're not signed in to your correct account. So make sure you are. Um, once you have got the download process started, I really recommend turning off the Windows Defender firewall. Now, I've got a, a link down into my Discord, and if you go into the free Flight Sim Assets channel, I've actually got a little helpful zip file called the Atom Experience, where you can disable Windows Defender with one click, and it's so much better than trying to do it through the back end of the Windows settings, because it doesn't actually disable it fully if you try and do it through here it just sort of half does it also turn off real-time protection as well um, when you do that and it will also not uh, get in the way of the download make sure that you've got any antivirus switched off as well because that can also get in the way of downloading um, but make sure your Windows Defender here is red. Now, the way you use the thing that I, I've got in my zip file, in the Atom Experience, it's called Real-Time Protection. And there's two registry files in there. They're totally safe. You can have a look at them in Notepad if you want to see what they do. But one turns off Windows Defender and one turns it back on again. And I really recommend that when installing or when downloading to install, you turn off Windows Defender. Now, Windows Defender is actually needed to be on in order for you to even start your Xbox app up. This won't actually start up, or the Windows Store won't actually start up unless your Windows Defender is active. Um, if Windows Defender is inactive, your Windows Store will have trouble loading, your Xbox app will have trouble loading, and the Microsoft Flight Sim will have trouble loading. So make sure Windows Defender is turned on when you initially open your Xbox app, but then you can turn it off afterwards, right? by doing the reg thing, but you have to restart your PC, but your Xbox app will then load afterwards, okay? Um, and just do it when you're going to download the sim, so Windows Defender doesn't actually hamper the download experience. Um, all these things just make it a pain to get this in your, in, in your PC, it really does. But you could be downloading this absolutely fine, and suddenly, keeps repeating itself it's like looping or something it's like it downloads a file usually an fs base file you know one point something 
and you'll see it rise up 594, 1 gig, 2 gig, and then it'll go back down to zero. And you'll notice that the number here won't go past a certain number and it'll start trying to download it again. And you, you can try this all day and it'll just never work. And it's because there's too much information coming down the pipeline and it's bottlenecking your connection. Now, there's two ways you can solve this. You can solve this by getting, say, net limiter and um, running this and then setting the flight simulator to only, say, download a certain amount. Um, in this case, it would be, you know, 10 megabytes I've limited it to. But in all honesty, the Microsoft Flight Sim won't actually adhere to that. It will actually overwrite it. Um, you have to actually go into your control panel, into network and uh, sharing, and then go click on to change adapter settings. Right click on the actual LAN, the local adapter, right? And click this configure button straight away. And you'll get this property box pop up and you go to advanced, scroll all the way down to speed and duplex and set that to 10 megabytes. You can even set it to megabytes full duplex if you want to or half duplex, whatever. Um, set it to 10, click OK then restart your PC because this actually won't take effect until you've restarted your PC. See, it's already disconnected. So uh, I can click connect and it'll connect back up again. But as you can see, the 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 the, the download had stopped and you know that's kind of corrupted now. So we might as well just exit out of that. Um, and I'm not connected, so I'll have to restart my PC. But yeah, restart your PC and it will continue and then you won't get that looping issue where it just continually goes and goes because you're actually uh, limiting your network like from the core not by a program you know or an app which by the way net limiter does work but it just with microsoft flight sim it in the latest updates it seems to override that so you need to limit it at the core and that's why we limit the actual uh, LAN connection um, once you do that your uh, Microsoft Flight Sim will download slowly but at least it will download without looping and then you'll be able to download the game properly and once you get then into your menu of your flight sim you can actually set the download uh, bandwidth to unlimited and remove the cap and you should then be able to download freely uh, the Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, there are other issues that may pop up and I do like before I don't want to make this video too long but please pop in those issues in the comments I will answer them directly um, and we will get you flying again. Um, and this is literally the one-stop shop video for all the fixes. I've, I've seen other fixes which I don't think are even worth mentioning, like you know disabling the TCP or IP connection or enabling it or setting it to normal. That doesn't really do anything. Um, this way that I've just showed you does work and 100% will prevent the looping issue from happening um, if it's down not downloading make sure that you've got your permissions on your drive set correctly Microsoft might actually be having trouble accessing the drive itself if you haven't got permissions one easy way to bypass any permission system on your drives is by going into security and giving everyone permission and therefore it will never have a problem gaining access um, but there's a whole load of other problems that could pop up Please let me do. Please let me know about them. I will help you get back on your feet with them. Join my Discord. Join the Brotherhood, where we have a flight sim help channel dedicated to helping you get back into the air. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.